Hello. Oh god, this is like really weird for me <laughs> because um I can hear myself now. I think maybe um my mic is like really low for you. I'm not quite sure. God, I have to turn. <laughs> I can't speak with this on. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna get something uh, that will actually like relay my voice to me directly because I can't I can't deal with it. It's practically like a speech jammer for me. Um, anyways, yeah, hold on. Let me just turn over to the face cam real quick. <laughs> um, did some minor changes. Um, I'm wearing my hamburger friend T-shirt today. <laughs> 
I feel happiness when I eat a ham. Hamburger friend, french fries, you know. I ham, Hamburger, I was thinking of Maya the entire time, basically. I don't even know how my audio is right now. God, I'm a mess. I really did not test anything. Um... But yeah, <laughs> that's what I'd say. Uh, playing more Ace Attorney, obviously, because that's all I'm gonna play here for the next five years or so. <laughs> God knows, I'm never gonna fucking, uh, I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna go through every single game in the series, as long as I have them like available, you know. Uh, let me just... Uh, I think that should be fine, like, um, music-wise, but I'm gonna turn that off real now, real quick. That's what I meant. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, now, are you just not gonna- oh, that's right, I have the background on. <laughs> Stupid me. I added a little chat box up there. Don't know if that's actually like good for it or anything, but I just kind of like uh, missed having the chat there when I like looked uh, at the re-upload on YouTube. Anyways, um, so we're at Turnabout Samurai. We're gonna be sitting here for like five hours today, so uh, I hope you're ready because I'm not. God knows I'm not. Ugh! You have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky, I couldn't even read that. I tried my best. <laughs> the moon? No, it's you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. See you in hell, evil magistrate. <laughs> The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. October 14. My hands are dry. Pardon me while I moisturize. <laughs> uh, oh my god. So, how's it going? There are no one in chat, but that's okay. <laughs> Nothing I'm not used to. <laughs> I did tell people I was going live now, though, so people should probably show up soon. I just want to get uh, kind of like a, a head start, I guess, because I've been awake since 5 a.m. this morning, and it's currently 5 p.m., so I've literally been awake for 12 hours, and I know that if I don't stream now, I'm gonna be way too tired. <laughs> I mean, this is gonna fucking knock me out. I'm not even gonna lie, but at least I'll be done, like, relatively early. I'm thinking, like, five, six hours should be good for the stream. Though I'm not quite sure. Like, it, 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 it depends, really, on how fast I can get through this. I'm considering I don't skip any dialogue. You know? So... Yeah, let me just... Um... Oh, my live stream here, I guess? I don't know why I just enjoyed doing that. Where is anyone? Fleur, you're literally on Discord. Why are you not here? Uh, I feel, I feel so betrayed. I don't feel fucking betrayed, I'm fine. Um. Meh, people will probably show up later, it's fine. 
All right, October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Fright, fright, <laughs> right and cold, law offices. Wait, what time is it actually? It was, it's 5.54. Yes, I know the time, yes. It's 17, that's five. God, confusing. Anyways. <clears throat> that rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Fleur, hello, hi. Of course I'm here. How is the chat, by the way? I uh, tried putting the chat there. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be like too distracting or anything. I don't know, really. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Seems good so far, all right. He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Oh yeah, we didn't check that last time, but uh, Maya is 17. Oh cool, we already have Edgeworth <laughs> here in our profiles. Love that. Hey! I'm only 17. Oh, she told me. She tells me. Cool. Love that. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me. He's really cool and he's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over, I guess. It's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. God, I just wish some people would murder people around here. <laughs> Sometimes Nick feels like 40. True. <laughs> a month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. Is my audio f fine, by the way? Because I... Uh, Changed some things, I believe. No, I didn't. I I put it back. Never mind. <laughs> I tried like using a filter on my mic, but uh, I don't know. It just felt kind of weird. But no one paid any attention to the Wright and Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Ow. Oh, that's also something I wanted to do. I wanted to turn up uh, the audio a bit because it felt really... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure someone is going to get murdered soon. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, hello, this is Phoenix. Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! Nine twenty-two a.m. Love that. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. I can turn... hold on. I think that should be okay. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the re lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jackhammer, who plays the evil known as the villain known as the evil magistrate. <laughs> Steel Samurai sort of killed the dude whack. <laughs> 
His body was found still uh, inside the evil magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and, the invest and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare! The steel samurai is over! The world is over! Yes? Rank call offices. What? Nick! It, it's the steel samurai! What? Yes, yes, of course! We'll be right there! Let's go, Nick! Go, go, go where? They have the steel samurai down, at the, down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. Oh, okay, cool. Sure, let's, let's go to the detention center, I guess. <laughs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once, maybe twice. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? Um. Y yes? S something wrong? N no, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Oh no! Oh no! No, it, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the steel samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick! What? He's a good guy! I mean, he's good! Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh god, my ass. That took a turn. <laughs> What happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. Uh, the cast come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 in the morning. There was a re rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. He took off his mask and discovered that it was Jackhammer, dead. Sorry, their names, I can't. Man, is literally named Jackhammer. <laughs> and their defendant is Will Powers. Such a clean spear hole though, I know, right? I'm like, damn. <laughs> the spear hole about to make me act up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Well, you know, that's um, that's all like the cursed, most cursed shit I ever seen, ever said. Oh my god, I can't speak. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, the steel samurai, uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of New Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <sighs> I see. New old Tokyo? Who 
comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke, when I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick! Let's go! I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asks for autographs. Okay, cool. Let's go! Let the dude have his nap. Yeah, yeah, to be honest. It's tiring to be like working at a film set. Like there is just like a lot happening at pretty much all times, you know? All right, we're at Global Studios now. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Oh no. <clears throat> Damn it, I... Oh, I need I need to nail her. Um. Hey, you there! You want in? You gotta go through me. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not happy with that, but you know what? I'll, I'm gonna just keep going with it, I guess. We're um, lawyers. Oh yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security, and it's my job to make sure the gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers! Sightseers! Tourists! I know the type. I know I'm not happy with it. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> you heard about the incident and came to snoop around. You today. Something horrible happens and you're wasting all your time. You don't have jobs to be doing. Aren't you liars? Don't work like the rest of us. Like the life of ease to me. I was young and things were my different hippie clothes when I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying my best here. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to, youths, today! Um, so, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wh wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago... Now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Interesting. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Sam Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. No, no. Wrong button, sorry. What's better about playing the villain? Yeah, exactly. Some, some, someone has to play the villain. And sometimes uh, the villain is like 
the best part of something. You know? Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Just look at the Avengers. People like Loki way more. Yeah. That's a, that's a, actually a really good example. True. So, really, what you're saying doesn't add up. Objection! <laughs> if you will. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers. Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He is no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He is the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Hmm. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. God, okay, uh... Hello, how was the studio? I think all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I never do that. Earlier you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna start just screaming objection at people when they're wrong. Oh, I don't. I, I wouldn't dare. I'm... Uh, I have way too much anxiety. <laughs> yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading toward the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. Not for me, huh? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Is that Wolverine? Okay, good thing I'm not the only one that thinks he, he looks like Hugh Jackman because. <laughs> no, his name is Will Powers. God, he looks like Hugh Jackman <laughs> so much. I know, I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. Pretty sure they intended. I'm not sure they intended, actually. When did this come out? 2001? Also considering this is from Japan, right? I don't know, but but like the similarity is uncanny, really. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Oh, she's got some nerve. You think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course! I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Hi, here, 
can't waste my uh, letter of request. That's what it is. I forgot what it was called. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold childish scrawl. Powers' request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here toward the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one alloyed, allowed, alloyed? <laughs> allowed inside, pal. Detective's instruction. The good detective told him told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Okay, we get it. We get it. Also, Bengi, what do you think about the little chat box up there? <laughs> Studio One entrance, let's go. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah, it's that confused detective! Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth <laughs> hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. So I'm sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Oh my god, no, poor gumshoe. <laughs> um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Yeah. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. So, how is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's, uh... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. <laughs> I like how he's like, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you anything, but here you go anyways. <laughs> I mean, it's only been a day or so since I met these characters, but as for... Edgeworth has been kind of a dick. Well. <laughs> Alright, time of death. Uh, 15th of... Uh, <laughs> October. Yeah, that's it. Uh, at 2.30pm. Pierced through the chest by a spear. <laughs> um, yes, but actually no one else. Yes, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other than no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Yeah, sh she, yeah. Mm. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. 
about the security lady? Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Uh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Wow. Wow. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on the on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh, no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go! We got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Alright, cool. No, huh? Oh, we're back here? Okay, cool. Nick, look! That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess old cops like, like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough. She doesn't need, the, need teeth to chew them. That's so mean. Wait, do we actually know how old she is? No, we don't. We never do. Cool. Love that for us. He's 23? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 23. And he's 37. Why does he look... I don't know. They look the same age. He's younger than Nick. Yeah, by like one year. What the hell? <laughs> Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied? Powers is guilty yet? Ugh. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Uh, do I have to talk? Mm, fuck, I have to talk to her. He looks like 40 at least. Yeah, I know, right? But didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Huh? Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera. The old, the, but what? <laughs> <laughs> just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guard station is a central position. Okay, you know what? I can't, I can't do her voice. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one that... one what did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sunny. She thinks I was joking. <laughs> Oh, he's very serious. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense. Oh, yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate is a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently it records the time when it takes a picture too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Mm. 
sure. Here we go, employee area. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Power's dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Okay, cool. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This thing. No, okay. Over here. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. I mean, he is dead, Nick. <laughs> of course it's past has Yeah, but I think she meant, you know, like... Further past tense, like before he died. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? Oh, we love a girl that doesn't make sense. Let's see, cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn at least. Wait, look, samurai soda. Nick, try this! Ladies first. Okay. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? <laughs> okay, let's just move into the dressing room, I guess. The third for dessert. Yeah, exactly. And a fourth one for uh, for ramen, <laughs> in which Maya is a cow. <laughs> oh my god! Powers his dressing room, so this is where he was sleeping, or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Uh, what do we got in here? Hmm? Huh? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look, an employee card key. That must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it, you mean. Borrow. Why would they look at a sleeping man? What do you mean? <laughs> Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it's kind of dusty outside. There's some regular suits in among, in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of those costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. Oh, she has no one actually sound sleep. Yeah, but sometimes people like walk into like their um, trailers or whatever. To like tell them about something. And if they did, they would have seen him sleep. Not that they actually wanted to like see him sleep, but no one actually saw him sleep. <laughs> There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh, this is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda liked samurai movies. Kinda? Yeah, I think it's, a uh, A bit more than kinda like. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry! You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets! She do. <laughs> How many stomachs does this girl have? She's a cow. I just, I just said it. She's a cow. 
I don't mean it, mean it in like a derogatory way. I just mean that she is like literally a cow. She has four stomachs. <laughs> they always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. Yeah, it's almost like they have to like see themselves <laughs> when they apply makeup and stuff. I see, my hair is still nice and spiky. Just how I like it. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't really see anything much else in here. Uh... Back here? Where the hell am I supposed to go? Um. Hey, detective, take a look at this. Was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't show him that. He'll confiscate it. Aww, just wanted to show it off. Oh, okay, cool. No, not move. What if we examine Studio One or something? The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opens! Alright, we're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Cool. Now we can, now we can go inside there. Alright. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Look, a ladder! That's a stepladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry, this girl is out there. So what do, what do, what do we say? Is it a ladder or is it a step ladder? I mean, I would consider... Hmm. Hmm, I have a step ladder because it's... Uh, a short one, but I don't know if I would consider this a step ladder or if I would consider that a ladder. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate, co magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Oh, we're stepping on all of them. Oh. It depends on if it's your first or second ladder. Oh, we're stepping all, on all of them. Hmm. Hey, look! That's the chair with the director sex sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clapped to start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real live megaphone. I don't know where that is. I cannot see anything. I'm looking, but I cannot see it. <laughs> Ready Nick, action. This girl is more trouble than I thought. Anything good here? Wow, look at the camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you, no touching that. Uh, um, sorry, my partner was kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're... WP's people. I don't... I feel like it's easier to say Will Powers than WP. <laughs> what should I call him instead? Whoop? <laughs> I'm whoop? You're whoops people? <laughs> you're whoops people? Whip? <laughs> Uh, 
WP? Oh, Will Powers! WP, I get it! I don't envy you guys, Mom Pits. But do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us! Good old Wop. <laughs> Oh, that was oh, wap. <laughs> Fucking wap. <laughs> Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day. You see, only one assistant. Yes. Well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. Wap is innocent. I swear. <laughs> Yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. Look at this all bag in the back! Look at Scream. She really is. WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area. That's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw Web go into his dressing room. <laughs> I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. Exactly. I mean, if it's private. What kind of girl do you think I am? What kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting confirmation of Powers' al alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If Rap was the only one who keeps the studio... <gasps> he has to be the killer! They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um... Sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. It was the only—I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. From really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Sensing someone. Okay, cool. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think it doesn't count, cut it in a witness testimony. Nick! What about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Okay, cool. Let's go back to Old Bag, I guess. Before that, though, I want to take a look at this thing. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Wait, actually, isn't there like a monkey like with like a really big nose? What are they called? I can like envision it. We have like a really big nose. <laughs> mm. I believe they have like big nose in their name or something. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later, I guess. He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio 1. Left to Studio 2. 
proboscis? Ah, okay. So, no nose in the name then. I see. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it too. Protective gumshoe, what's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, yeah. That way is kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. In Swedish, uh, they are called Nes Appa, which is nose monkey. Yeah. Yeah, I believe they're called it in Norwegian, too, which is why, okay, that makes sense. What? You're still here? Really, you look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here yesterday. That day, I mean. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am, you look like a ghost yourself. Hmm. Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick. You spike your hair quick. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, huh? Um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her, she's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays, running to your tomorrow's strength and stuff that I can't even keep up with this. She's terrifying. She left. <laughs> Thank God she left. Oops. Oh, sorry, I just... Knocked into the microphone. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Cool, yeah, I'm taking a look at this. <laughs> the computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with his computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Try it. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Um, 703? There, entered. Nothing happened. Huh? Maybe I got the number wrong. <sighs> Maybe we should go look at the camera again. No, we have we have three options. We're fine. I don't I don't want to go back. Hold on. What I can do is that's not what I want to do. Where was it? I believe that. By the way, is like the game audio fine? Like, compared to my voice, because I feel like the game audio was really low last time. So I decided to boost that a little bit now. Today. Three oh seven. There! Entered! Yes! Hey, it printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears the suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. 
Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15. 2 p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? I'm a little low. Alright, what about now? I turned up my mic a little bit. I can probably turn it up more. No worries. Better. Okay, cool. But not perfect yet, so I'm gonna just keep on turning a little bit. How is this? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, three, two, one. Testing, testing, three, two, one. Testing, 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 ah! <laughs> okay, cool. Maybe there is more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Alright. Cool. Powers? Question mark. Photo added to the court record. Hey, hey Nick! Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Sorry, I was just like thinking like light years in the future. <laughs> Light years in the future, that's not even the saying. Like, years in the future. It was like, oh, that makes sense with something that happens later on. <laughs> Nick, you're craftier than I give you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. Cool, that was the first chapter. We only have, uh, how much left? I don't know, it doesn't say. Damn it. October 18, 10 a.m. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Du boy! Indeed. The prosecution will show the court that that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call his first witness. Very well. Call the most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the produ production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1pm, the security lady got to the guard station. 
Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. A samurai spear found lodged in, this, in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? I don't need to listen to it again. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval! Weren't the director directors there? From that picture, it looks like there were more. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stand. No, please, I beg you. <laughs> I beg. Edgeworth! No, you're making a mistake! Will the vit witness declare her name? Huh? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Y your name, please! Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please! Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. Objection! <laughs> uh. Objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? See, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you? You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure, she sure is one hell of an old bag. All right. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 when I got to the guard station. I was the, at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. Saw the defendant then. Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Ah, <sighs> God. Alright, what we got? Hmm. I mean, she isn't lying. I have to press something, probably. Mm. That adds up with what we know, right? I believe so. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. Okay, let me ask about those errands. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching Paul Hammer and Mr. and Powers observing, you know? Yeah. This firm again. How could Power Powers have gotten into Studio One if his keycard was in his bag? He went back, duh. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, 
I always watch hammers run through. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a steel samurai run through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Oh yeah, no. It was one when I got to the guard station. So you were watching there the whole time? No breaks, not even a second? Of course I am a professional, you know. Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time! Snipper Whopper! Snipper Whopper? Well, Windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? I feel like Maya should have said that. Wrong coding, we'll love that. So the witness was on duty during through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Murder happened at 2.30. Interesting to me because a certain man by was powers. So you saw Mr. Powers? That's what I said. Got wax in your ear, Sunny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out that secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. So you s okay, that's just the same thing. I guess it's the picture. Yeah, it is the picture. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? In just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Um, what is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm. Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? <laughs> Oh god, that's great. The persecution would like to ask the old- the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you! You're in the trial. Ma'am, you're in court. <laughs> what did you expect? Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't e this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Well, old Wimbag has left even Edgeworth speech speechless. She's good. Okay, I, ca I can't do her voice. I don't know about the other ones, but I cannot do hers. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's hear about your proof then. All right, what we got? I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Power strip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? How dare you all interrogate me in this interrogation? Well, technically, this isn't an interrogation. <laughs> hmm. 
So he had a sprained so he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Mm. He broke a prop. Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. You can see he's dragging his legs. See, clear his thing. Are you absolutely sure? Let's take a look at that picture again. Hmm, so he was walking strangely because he was injured. Hmm, it does look like he was dragging his foot. See? And you didn't trust me, whippersnapper. That's how I knew it was powers, happy. Still, you can't look at this and say it's Mr. Powers. Objection. Yes, but only Mr. Powers would have been dragging his leg. He has a point. It does seem quite likely that it was Powers. There's gotta be more to this. I better keep pressing her. Okay, cool. Mm. Did I press this? I don't know. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Less than that. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. Or someone pretending to be Powers, perhaps. Trip and fall? Yes! And to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai, what a laugh! So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. Mm -mm. Press her on everything. Lipper snapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet. Well, have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow. The up and up. Used to they always whining. Okay, whatever. Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edgeworth has met his match. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai, then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate, and me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing! Just observing. What about the assistant? We already been through this. Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. Uh, uh. Okay, cool. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers, bothers me, which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Powers. Mr. Will Powers, sorry. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Object. Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. 
Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Oh no. Mm. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have it would have to be the steel samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sunny. Where do these witnesses get their spunk from? I would be terrified. Like, just in court in general, or what exactly do you mean? Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Yeah, okay, cool. Nobody suspicious looking, right. No one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen them. But what if you didn't? Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Okay, cool. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sunny. You let him have it, edgy boy. <laughs> edgy boy? <laughs> uh, poor Edgeworth, indeed. Oh, Windbag sure has balls, or... Well, you know what I mean. All windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Hang on. But, it says here there is, uh, photo number two, right? So it has to be something about that. The only person I saw, no one else. Objection. Yes! Hold on. Look at look at this photograph. <laughs> First try. Yes. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself now. Huh. <sighs> Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes siree, Sunny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. On, on October the 15th. Really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who else- uh, who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. Security lady herself. Eh? 
You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, <clears throat> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. I love how the audience are watching this like some drama series. I know, right? They're just sitting there like... <laughs> Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hm. Some help you are. You were whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Olag? Ah, that's right. I... I just remember something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <laughs> They're like sitting there. <laughs> grabbing some popcorn, yeah, pr pretty much. I see. Your testimony, please. God, can we stop with Obey? I want anyone else. Literally anyone else. Fucking give me... Give me that annoying person from the next case. I don't care. <laughs> no spoilers, though. I'm just saying that she's annoying. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. I'd rather have me and Cat back. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Miss Olbag, this is the first I've heard of this. He's so angry because he's just like so not aware of anything. <laughs> well, of course, Sunny, I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. The shiny guy wasn't, it, though. Yeah. Shiny guy. His name was Red White. <laughs> Alright, every day. Yeah, we get it. Uh, go through the photos. Check them. Come on. Tell me about that photo. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Hmm. Huh. Fanboy. Fanboy? Steel samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsal from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. When was there that day? Objection! Wait a second, didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there is a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What? Order. Order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on that uh, on their way to the studios that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Ah, yes. Well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Okay, cool. Mr. Powers? 
Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take ba better care of that. S of that? Nah. You should take better. You should take better. You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thought thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do, we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. Right. The stakes weren't high enough. Okay, so who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder? What do we think? <laughs> kid feels like a trap. Yeah, I don't think the kid is like between the assistant and old bag. security lady was the one that knew about his limp, right? It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. What? Whippersnapper! Order! Order! Is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old bag to you! Miss Old bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly let her post left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. 
then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go to the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. <laughs> Give Granny a break. What, what do we say? Do we continue pressing or should we give Granny a break? <laughs> break the Granny! <laughs> the very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldback's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it, now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, yes, you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter! When I was that age, I would... I could pit my old man in ten seconds, tops! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it... Be nice to the kids and mean to your elders, they? Whippersnapper! I have proof. Proof? Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Uh... I feel like it's either the card key or the spear. Yeah. Let's try the card key. The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One, you're right. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to com comment on this? <clears throat> the windbag is speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What's her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Yes. Perfect. I need to go get something to drink. Please! <laughs> Wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what's this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Oh, one would think that would be Edgeworth, but Edgeworth is like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. Please. I just want to take like a, a short break. <laughs> Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. Okay. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? 
so they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you were going to going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot free. Miss Holbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from from the court until now? Think you've been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. I'm pretty sure Edgeworth was pretty annoyed by this lady, yeah. He would be like, yeah, no. No, fucking lock her up. I don't care anymore. Just fucking get her out of my sight. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Huh. <sighs> mm -mm. Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talked. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they were actually in the studio. Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. God, I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost. She really left him hanging on this one. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot free. Cool, 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 cool. Them? Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer were starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Who was it that said something about that? That was... Yeah, that was uh, Fleur. Weren't the directors there? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map. Here it is. You go through the gate, and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Continue a little bit. Miss Olbag! This is a trial for murder. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just take a break. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and, and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hope that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Olbeck, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Someone's angry. I can understand, Your Honor. This ends today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is this court this court is adjourned. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. <laughs> oh, or should I? <laughs> oh, 
we'll be going down to the studios to do some more in investigating. Sorry, I like stopped because I was like, wait, what, what does she mean? <laughs> I'm confused. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get materials for the cross-examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag, I feel kind of sorry for her. Maya, you're way too nice. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. a couple things I can do that. And then, um... I do...
Okay. I'm back. Got some drink. So let's do this. Ah, hope you're still there. Hope you enjoyed that music. Oh, by the way, speaking of, I forgot. I forgot to. Okay, I wasn't sure if I saved or not. Because <laughs> we're 18. Right in Cola office at school. <sighs> what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WAP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we going to- What are we doing here then? Let's go f to the studios. God, I cannot read. Okay, cool. Let's just go, I guess. <sighs> no one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Well, what can I, um... I can. Nice. Hey! In the guard station, look! She left her donuts! What? I wasn't going to eat them. Um... Let's go back here, I guess. Look! It's that assistant girl! Hey! Hi, WAP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys! Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh! <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that dream. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. So I'm assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh? Oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldback. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So yeah, I forgot that last... Uh, yeah, cardboard! <laughs> oh my god, it's cardboard! I didn't even notice! I thought it was a blank! No, it's cardboard! Yeah, cardboard is definitely gonna stop them. For sure. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? <laughs> so it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey. Hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. What, what what are we saying, boys? Rip it open or leave it be? Do it. Alright, we got... One vote. What about... Break the rules? Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hiya! There! That should make the kids happy. The things we do. Oh my god, another stepladder. I, wait, I cannot. No clues. Okay, cool. Wrong button. Whatever, it's fine. <clears throat> Into the dressing room. This is where the steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. 
Huh, she's got a point. Okay, nothing there, nothing here. Back to the main gate, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? You're wearing the same things. What? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Was she... She was wearing that all the time, right? <laughs> kind of an altern alternative guard fashion thing. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. They haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left uh, over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? What about the fanboy? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to, to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer is our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Cool. Uh, let's go to studio one, I guess. Hey, Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at, at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Okay, cool. Let's go. Studio 2 entrance. This place is deserted. Nick? What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it! If they'll let us. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for a steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Okay, what about this? An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick! You don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <laughs> no bones from a steak with a bone? Perhaps they put it in the incinerator? I don't know. There's some flowers here. Oh, true Anne. <laughs> Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Seems old too, considering it's freaking broken. <laughs> Can we ask for the... Interesting. 
<laughs> okay, what about the detention center? Let's try that. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky, to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, Wep. <laughs> Do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Do uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. The security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, she didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. What about the director? Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the steel samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked, asked us to keep it quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Is that all you have to say? Okay, cool. No! <laughs> okay, what about the employee area again? Nothing? Oh, no. WTF? Who are you, dudes? L Lameo? I don't even know how to do his voice. Uh-huh, we- Wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. How can you not know the great Salmonella? <laughs> hey, where did Bengi go? Bengi, you still here? Oh, you're still there. Hello. Uh. Yeah. I make the lead shows. The Steel Samurai Mine. RFTC. Or oh, RTFC. I can't read. <laughs> read the film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... You look so sorry. No, no. Quite alright, really. It's fine. RFL, really? Who says that? I don't think anyone says that nowadays. I mean, to be fair, no one fucking speaks in lead speak. I don't know how to speak in lead speak. Dude gets his imagination from Salmonella. <laughs> like, I know you can like type in lead speak, but how do you speak in lead speak? Doesn't make sense. <laughs> what is it? You know, on closer inspection. Mmm, yeah. Hot, hot, hot! No. I don't think so. I have so many questions. I have even more. Hey, do you do a lot of cosplay? Because that's costume rocksers? <laughs> Rock source? What? Hey, you're drooling! Huh? Buffer overrun. Oh, I don't like that. You've triggered my- Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you for the follow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I me too. I too object to this whatever the hell this is. <laughs> She's a minor. Yeah. She's 17. 
Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. Oh, no. A sequel to the Steel Samurai. Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. <laughs> I can't take this seriously at all. <laughs> Fucking... Listen, if, if you're gonna use Ruffle and Lamau, use Ruffle Mao, like... <laughs> Pink Princess? Why is it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like New Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. I'm gonna have to talk to this guy. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security lady told you about us, huh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Huh. I was so busy I didn't even get the chance to eat lunch. <laughs> that speaks in the voting cost. <laughs> Sorry. I was just like... <laughs> a T-bone steak, was it? Yeah. Suck, sirs? I hate missing out on food. What does suck source mean? You know what? I don't <laughs> No idea. Yeah, like... Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer and some bigwigs on the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. Does he spell it out? Like, I'm sad frowny face? Yes, probably. He's like sad face. <laughs> About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean the Vasquez? Vasquez? I don't know. She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. <laughs> Can he not? Scary though. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh damn. He he speaks in um, asterisks too. Oh no. <laughs> She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They pile into a limb... Is limousine written like that? <laughs> it just looks weird. No, it looks fine. I can't. Whatever, limousine. I know that's limousine, but I, I, I don't know. It just looked weird to me for some reason. And got here right around noon. Major tension. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Hmm. Sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Do we have anything we can show him? No, not really. Uh, I'ma leave. <laughs> I'ma leave. Oh no, she's back. <laughs> Aha! You again. Eh. How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, sweet little old ladies, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. This lady's too much. Okay, I won't even try. I'ma just... Go. <laughs> what about Do you want anything in here? I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Okay. 
no, that's not what I wanted to do. I think. Studio 2? Back here? No? I don't know where to go. Actually, let me... Uh, okay, that doesn't work. We've already seen that. So I don't need that. I'm about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Okay, cool. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, okay. I think she's losing it. Yeah, me too. Yes! Finally. Hey! Hey, wait! But it came in right through that drain. Hey, um, kitty -o. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Uh-huh, but you you are a kid. What a rude little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. You're, you're not an adult, <laughs> sweetie. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. A hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Their names. I can't. Call me kitty -o again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Alright, cool. So, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then... What's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! <laughs> Easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm. <laughs> Not bad, Kirio. Watch it. What are they doing? <laughs> As if she hasn't lost it already, yeah. So you heard anything about the incident the other day? Mm. You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He, he, he always, the Steel Samurai always wins, always. Yeah, I saw him, I saw everything. What? But no way am I telling you losers. What, wait, let me go. He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. Bottle? Oh wait, no, that's Phoenix. Why was this sitting here, I wonder? Ooh, sleeping pills. That's pretty sus. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Ought of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her! Stop, whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Yeah. Can they blame her? They drugged Wolverine! <laughs> uh... Where did the... No, where, where did the... He, huh? Where did the kid go? Not in here. Okay, uh... <laughs> Back here? No, okay, I guess I just have to... Go to the detention center, maybe? No. Nothing here. I don't think he's gonna give me anything about that. Damn it, now where? Hmm. Anyone have an I any ideas? I always get to like a certain point and then I just get stuck and I'm like, and I want to go through this game this time without using any, like, uh, guides. But if, like, 
anyone in chat like searches it up and tells me <laughs> what to do, then um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> I just don't want to be like looking up anything, you know. Also, it includes the chat a bit more, so I don't really mind. I don't think there's anything here, right? Hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Oh, okay. Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key! Oh, I needed that! Of course, I forgot about that. Cool. Never mind. I got it, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> the key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Cool. God, it's so confusing to move around in this game. Well, that solved itself. Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> Wrong button. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you're first, Nick. Ah, oh, not that eager. What do we got in the background here? We got, um... The singing samurai. Uh, we got samurai summer and dynamite samurai. Nice. Eh! Someone's in here! Names. Aren't names? Um, we're Wep's lawyers and, um... I see. And who might you... D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. M Ms. Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A uh, script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez, it's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Salmonella was... <laughs> Not sure this woman is the best person to question. I don't think anyone in this fucking case is the, is the best person to question. <laughs> what uh, exactly is this role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, we'll give it to him if you see him. Uh, need to go get- need to get ready for work tomorrow. I'm gonna catch up on the VOD tomorrow. Good luck in the case. Thank you so much, Fleur. You have a good night. And, um... Have fun at work tomorrow. <laughs> or have a good day at work tomorrow. That's a better way to phrase it. Mm. God, moving around in these first games is so annoying. God. Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? 
bring me the script for episode 13? Episode 13, where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh, oh, uh oh. My ass is pwned if I don't find it. <laughs> Shades. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Oh, so we have to- oh, wait, actually, I know exactly where it is. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. It's for reflecting light. They call it a reflect. Uh, uh, they call it a reflecting screen or something like that. I thought that was that. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director or maybe the steel samurai. I really, really think this dude is straight out of some hentai. I think this dude is straight out of r slash nice guys. Yeah. Nice guys or... Considering he speaks with like, um, asterisks and stuff. Isn't that, I believe that's what. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> I think she's being serious. Okay, cool. What about in the backpack? Can't even get to the backpack? Are you kidding me? Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. Okay, we already went through that. Where the hell is it? Well, look at the camera. Okay, we already did that too. I really would have thought it would have been in the backpack. Though to be fair, he hasn't been here, right? We've been like, oh, I know exactly where I need to go. And then I go to the wrong place. Well, you know. Trash can? Let's see, cola, candy, okay, that's just the same thing. And the samurai soda, yeah, 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 we get it. Um, looks like one of those electric powered bicycles. I don't know about these, I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Okay, then what about uh, Studio 2? Moving is such a pain. I want to cry. Do you have anything here that I need to find? Hello? If I were a script, where would I be? In the incinerator. No. Ha! Okay, you have nothing new to say. Love that. Okay. Okay, where in the hell is this thing? Do I need to talk to him again? Okay, I'll fucking do it. Nope. Nothing there. He's like, huh, where did I put it? I hate it when they just fucking let you go on a treasure hunt and you don't even get a fucking clue to where anything is. <laughs> I'm like looking for anything that can be like viewed as a script or anything that a script can be inside. 
I'm not seeing anything. God damn it. I swear, if it's if it's inside the fucking Studio 2 trailer, I will be upset. Check the trash. Nothing in here. There could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Cool. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. It looks like they were designing a set uh, to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spent that much money on those sets. Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell does Samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh. My. God! That movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Singing Samurai stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. Typical summer romance with a samurai on a horse. An old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Um. Not interested. Okay, cool. Where the hell is this fucking? It's not in the van. No. My God, where can it be? These look like materials for making a movie set. I've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think that this is part of some temporary film set. Okay, cool. Where do I go? I'm like so tempted to just like Google like... Ace Attorney, where is... Uh... Episode 13. <laughs> but I don't want to do it because I'll just feel- I'll just feel stupid. Anything in here? I'm just gonna do... This trick, where you're just... Outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was still- okay, yeah, I already read this. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Seal Samurai show. Of course! That's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama. Well, I mean... Yes? <laughs> Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Chair. Hey, look, that's a chair. Okay, yeah, we already. Oh, didn't they say it left it somewhere? My God, are you kidding me? Aha! Found it, Nick. The script. Thank fucking God. My God. Good work. I got it. I knew it was there. I immediately went there and I was like, no, that's not it. Because I uh, it thought it would be more obvious, but apparently not. Here, we found it. Your script. Huh. Um, uh, we're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. 
Just you hold on, what's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway, and do you even know who we are? Power lawyers? Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just... Well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a great help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? I didn't click anything. <laughs> On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear, clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But wait. What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. Yesterday we were watching Lucifer with my sister and a similar case was there. The killer was the sidekick of the primary role. Sounds fun. <laughs> It is a monkey after all. Sorry, I'm just like thinking of the the the, the monkey watch from uh, what is it, Rhythm Mania or something? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at two fifteen. Two fifteen. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 until after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Bye, beach. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone beside Wap who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. I guess we should head back to the office and plan out our strategy. <laughs> now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Oh, it's Mia! I was like, whoops! <laughs> Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she really, she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But... But no, I am telling you, losers. I don't know. It didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. No. <laughs> Wendy, please! <laughs> 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 a 
Okay, we get it. What's wrong? Whippersnapper! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When, when I catch, when I catch him, I... <sighs> Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? What's this about a hostage? When that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk us talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Lobag. No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade, hmm. I wonder. Do you want Mr. Monkey's head? What can I treat her? Hmm. I guess I gotta run around a bit. Cool. Hey! Hey, you! Wait a sec! Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name is Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. No, I think I have to get something else first. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! Damn it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she... Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? Hi, I'm Cody. Hello Cody, I'm Mia, Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright, who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai is so cool, I think he's, um, uh, the bomb. Ha! Huh. What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude! Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that, he's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that, I'm only a kid! So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing! Hmm... Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Do you want the spear? <laughs> Do you want the murder weapon? Hey, it's the steel samurai. Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this anyway? Back. Okay, let me try the keys. Miss Olbag, I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> just be sure to give it back. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Not the keys. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I disappeared! <laughs> it's my vanishing act! Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Wait, there isn't anything here that I can pick up, right? Or anything. No. Don't seem like it. Heck. Hmm. 
I recall correctly, there is like something we have to like pick up. Maybe there is anything inside the trailer? What can we trade a little boy? Or, well, what can we trade all bag? She obviously wants something jackhammer, right? That would be my guess anyways. So do you want nothing? Okay, I talk here. Um, what happened to the boy? I see him again. A lame flat. <gasps> My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Huh. My heart, I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Oh, okay, I see. So, the card key. Hey, that... That's a card! Studio One! Right, a card key to Studio One. I... I could visit Port Hammer! I'd like to visit... He died! Oh, I was his... His fan! You don't have your own card, Miss Olbeg? Studio One is in my turf. You'll let me borrow... Borrow it then? If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it! I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you, I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Poor lady gonna die out of breath. Hold on, I'm just... Gonna notify my um, Discord server because I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, cool. Right, I'm off. Here she goes, hobbling off toward the studio. Cool. Now I can go back to the dressing room and give the kid. Hey, here you go. Cody, this look familiar? Hey! My you are! You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare? That car is really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my car! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect skewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Okay. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach kids these days? Wait, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Yes. Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it, it's yours. What? After I've went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grow up, grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? There we go. Uh. Don't exactly know where we're going, but I know who we're looking for. Yep. 
Yes. Oh, hi. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? I don't know. I don't understand what you mean. She looks exactly the same to me. Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. You used to collect Ben 10 cards. That's cute. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you think I might... You might think I am. I need that card. Please! I beg you, please trade with me! Trade with you? Yes, trade cards! Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card! Trade me a... Uh, huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare! Please! Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about, trade? Okay. Really? Thanks! And this is for you. An herb card. <laughs> Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah it does. There we go. See this card? Yes, yeah, so... Wait, that's it! That's the last ultra rare premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Well, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards, I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess? You're judging him by his looks! You have to look at his actions! At his life! I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't ya? Uh, oh me? Yeah, um, I love the Steel Samurai! So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His fighting skills. Got to think of something. Uh, I like it when he uh, he uh, vanquishes his foes. Yeah, with them. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts. Where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the, lands the final blow. Was down. I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out! My new dig digital camera! Well, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady! I just got it for my birthday! My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai! Path to Glory! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took this with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I... I saw... 
so everything. Well, 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 we might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? We got here that day around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost though. I was in there for maybe a half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the steel samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear. Just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. We have to admit it. It's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. Oh no. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No! I ain't going! Ah! That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Of course I believe that. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Heck yes. Mm -mm. I put eight ice cubes in here and they're already almost melted. <laughs> Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. I've almost been live for three hours, so there are like at least two to go. That's fine. I, I can I can I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Ejipu. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The persecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show the evidence, proving they had nothing to do with the murder. 
Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if we'll beat up producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that director. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob. Ruffle. Salmonella, I'm a director of television. Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Alright, what we got here? I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in the meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> All right. What have we got? Took a lot more time than I would. Ended up skipping lunch. Do I have anything of regarding the lunch thing? Do not really. <clears throat> so in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Hmm? What do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? No, uh, <laughs> good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. Oh, no. I don't like this face. It's so creepy. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Hmm. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Yeah, not a one. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Ruffle. <laughs> do the do they know what Ruffle even means? Well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess I we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor. I call on the witness to testify to the court about his break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. 
Please don't laugh. Yeah, for what it's worth. I was like, what? For what it's worth, we took a break, Ruffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One. LOL! <laughs> That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Hmm. I don't think there would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh right, the other one was Divas. Sorry, Divas Guess plate. Divas Guess, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder. Why is that? I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food, lol. Well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One at the time. Oh, great. Is that all? Nope, that's not it. Ah, heck. What time exactly did you take this break? Oh, that's probably what I have to do. Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30! That's the time of death. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. I mean, I don't know. Mm. I think I might have to like save so I don't have to like get put like at the beginning of the fucking episode. I'm 
already done this one. Do you have any idea? <laughs> Asking chat. Look at the guide. I mean, if you want to, I'm not gonna stop you. Also, how is that text, by the way? Is it too small now or what? It's a bit small, I guess. I guess I could like make it. Uh... Make like the font size a bit bigger. The chat, yeah, the little chat. Hold on, wait, let me see here. Cause now I changed it a bit. Just gotta wait for it to catch up. At least now I can read the chat, so. <laughs> um, um. First statement, and you find the break. Yeah. If you then press the start statement, Edgeworth will stop you. Okay. Two, three. Why is that? Oh, okay, there we go. Thank you. I don't need any more. You can stop. You can stop. You're, you're spoiling. Ah. Oh, wait, can I, um... I think I can like delete the messages. Okay, thank you. I'ma just delete these messages now. I got it. <laughs> I just wanted that thing because like sometimes I just get stuck doing like, the stupidest things. Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to studi Studio One. How oh, sorry, sorry, the chat arrives a bit late to your screen. Yeah, 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 I get it. What? Something wrong with the right? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your, your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and I claim it loud. No, it's impossible. I have like one fucking chance left. Hold on, wait, let me just save real quick. Let me just claim it and then claim it loud. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting with 15 minutes murder is certainly a possibility hmm I suppose you might say that all right I've got the judge thinking now hmm <sighs> never a dull moment with you Mr. Wright what's your point Edgeworth you've been doing your homework haven't you 
Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right! True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. I was like, yeah, isn't it Mr. Monkey? <laughs> and somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. Wright. Then I'm afraid you'll lose this round. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Uh-oh. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Guilty. Yeah, we get it. The accused will surrender to the court immediately to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Heck, it's fine. No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. But I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agreed that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio at that time. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Edgeworth? It is quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. Yeah, we know it. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. Yeah. And somehow I feel no desire to correct it. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the studio, in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no, other, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I am afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment the steel samurai screwed the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Ah. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Now while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai. You are to children everywhere after all. I... You... Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. 
the prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a great scholar of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Well, this is cute. This part is cute. Look, he's so short. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Will the witness state his name in grade in school? Witness. What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. <clears throat> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hawkins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with his, with this gentle thing. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident? You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and grab through the beard over there? Just... Mr. Edgeworth will do. I prefer beard gentlemen. Very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <clears throat> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid? And you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Gramps, <laughs> yes, I know. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the incident. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the, off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a Steel Samurai. I totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. <clears throat> There was something that struck me as odd immediately, and that was... This. If I had my camera with me. You always have it with you. Oh my god, I only have like one fucking thing left. <gasps> oh my god, I have to like save before like everything right now, because I only have like one attempt left. God. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's some, um, uh, a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. Sure. A new sort of camera. Um, so, I mean, obviously this is um, from like 2001, but the game, the actual game, like, it takes place in 2012? No, something like that anyways. It's in like the early 10s, I believe. Either that or it's like actually like near 
to 2020. I'm not quite sure. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I have my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? Look, he's standing on a box. <laughs> it's so cute. So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Huh. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you are so busy watching. Yeah, I have my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Steel Samurai. He goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. <sighs> Alright. Um. So here. He contains photos of every victory scene in every battle the Steam Samurai has won. No, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. What did you do after the bad guy fell, Cody? Um, actually, the fight was so, so intense that I got kind of scared. So I went straight home. Something is not adding up here. Something about his account doesn't seem right. Phoenix. It doesn't seem right because he's being deliberated. De 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 I, I know how to say deliberately. <laughs> deliberately vague. Press him on the facts, Phoenix. Find out what he saw. Okay, cool, so I have to press him. Why? Why did he stop moving? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the steel samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. It's something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. Should I play this? Oof. I must save and try to press him a little bit. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <clears throat> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight, like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, huh. 
I have to agree with Mr. Edgeworth. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Okay, cool. <laughs> he was watching something else? No, that doesn't... I'm gonna just try, because I don't know what kind of... I missed the climax of the fight, because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai, fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Uh -oh. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. Y yes, sorry, Your Honor. Do you have another explanation? Okay, cool. So it is to show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, thank God it's not. Ooh, ooh, hee ha, hee ha, ooh, hee ha, hee. Here is my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I am aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I am aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Mm. Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him, have him testify again. R right. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. By the way, do you have any, like, um... Um... What's it called? Like, uh guesses i guess uh on who the killer actually is and what actually happened i'm just kind of curious to like see if you like have any any ideas because the first two cases are pretty um obvious then you get to this one, and it's not as obvious anymore. <clears throat> you know? Not a solid idea, unfortunately, but you have any idea, just like anything, just like spitball, give me anything, really. <laughs> just for fun. I just want to, like, include you a li little bit more. <clears throat> the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. Oh, wait, I'm out. Fix my... Oh, no, look, he's so sad. Huh. If 
found the assistant girl kind of sus once. Once, but not anymore. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take the picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Hmm. That's all? Y yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture! Mm -mm, I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? No, let me save. <laughs> I'm using a joystick and it kind of like snaps back so it like goes like back and forth. It's kind of annoying. Thank you. Let me press him hard. No, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How'd you know? See through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow! This feels great. Y yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. Took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid is all about. Oh, let me save. I want to try something. No, let me... <laughs> la 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 la. Okay. Mm. Phoenix becomes steel attorney. <laughs> Yes! Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. With Sam! I got them all, I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Uh, Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see... Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright! Have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No way. No way. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? 
photos were blurry, you erased them by mistake, or the steel samurai didn't win. What we thinking, boys? I'm also doing this so I can let my voice like rest a little, at least a little bit. <laughs> I think I um, find uh, Cody's voice to be like my favorite voice so far, but it's also one of the most grating ones. I can tell. I can tell at some point my voice is just gonna like eh. didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody de 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 deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way, no! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone! Ever! I kind of lost some of that rasp <laughs> that I had with Cody, like, earlier. Because it's so grating. <laughs> so I can't make that noise anymore. So, it, yeah. But it's fine. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his, pre his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai loose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Order! I will have order! Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Oh, yeah. That's sad. Sorry for him. Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Mm, okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Oh. Order! 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 What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what is going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An... error? What is this all about? I'm saving. I don't trust myself. <laughs> if you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. Don't you see? Jackhammer was the Steel Samurai! Order! 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 So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. B but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. 
get it. He thought that the steel samurai was moving strange. So he was a different person inside the suit. Pops? Um, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. What? Show us, quick. No way, man, not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. <laughs> Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this... Blah. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That's the photo... That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Y Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? S certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring, decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Can you... Can you tell? Do you have any idea? Bengi, you there? You have any idea of the inconsistency within this very picture? Right here. Why is it grassy? Because he is taking the photo from inside the forest, pretty much. <clears throat> but what about this picture? Doesn't line up with what we know about the crime. No cheating. I just want you to, like, guess. Is it about the dominant hand? No, it's not. Um, so... Let's go through what we know about the... About the... The case so far. Um, where was the crime scene? If you remember, anyways. It was in studio. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you missed it. That's right. You weren't here. Sorry. Um, so, uh, the crime scene was in Studio One. So, what does that mean? The crime scene was in Studio One. This is Studio Two, indeed. Your Honor, look at this! I see. A gate? Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah yes, well it's hard to see but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one. <laughs> Clearly not a one, your honor, correct? <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But... That's impossible! Hmm? Eh, what's all this about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge what- okay. I'll show him. I'll show him. I'll show him, I'll show him. Here, at Studio Two. I see! That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. God. This judge... How did he even get the job? That's my question. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. Tell the rest of the- yeah. The path was blocked. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the verse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mr. Divas Ms. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Or order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Ms. Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim's Jack Hammer stole the costume. Do I have proof? What if I do? I don't have proof. Proof? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything like that. 
Phoenix, even if you're not 100% sure about this, you have to try. And I think you've got proof that's good enough to win them over. Just go for it. All or nothing. Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. Actually, I do have proof. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. All the sleeping pills! This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. Same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle just raised some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh... Fingerprint the bottle? An idea, very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm? I suppose you're right. Yes, he is indeed right. <laughs> Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge, yes. Ah. Uh, this court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities of, in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit mur murder. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the, sam ste steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Court is adjourned. At least I can stop with those voices for a, li a little while. <sighs> that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. M me too. Really? You both seem so, so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Dead? <laughs> of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, your computer broke. No worries. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Um, basically, what happens? We have yet another day. I believe there are like two or three... Uh, not episodes. What are they called? Like chapters? Something like that. Left. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe not. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not quite sure when you left or like your computer broke or whatever. Uh, yeah, quite a lot happened. Really, so. Uh, Jackhammer uh, drugged 
willpowers. I could catch up to him. You could, technically. Um, yeah, he drugged willpowers with like a sleeping drug. Um, and then he took, he put on uh, the steel samurai costume and went to Studio 2 for some reason, which we now have to figure out why he would do such a thing. That's pretty much our goal right now. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad, I'm sorry I missed it. M Maya! So, what happened? Oh, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? It's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So, under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no time to waste. Alright. Let's-a go. Oh, it's you. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think her guard's down. I yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if you wanted. You eat, you die. Oh, she's alive! Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. She always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. <clears throat> about Mr. Hammer. <laughs> I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old hammer, you'd drag his star down from the sky and stomp on it. The man is a kinky purr, so yeah, yeah, pretty much. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Alright. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no touching! Yeah! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramati dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. So, you're looking for traces on the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. The science guy gave me some testing solution. Oof. This reacts to the sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, alright. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. How 
How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room when he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups, bottles... Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. We found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep. Sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Do we have anything we can show him? No, not really. Cool. Let's go to the dressing room just to like cover our bases, I guess. Empty dressing rooms like this are kind of lonely, aren't they? I'm sure Mr. Powers will be back soon. He'll be fine. Y yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Uh... Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the steel samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello? H-E-L-L-O! Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Uh... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... You did it. Nick, she did it! She's the killer! My fake blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Oh dear. She's high as clouds. I don't think she's high. I just think she just doesn't want to speak to us. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer. By yourselves? Oh, oh dear. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, an incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. Still, okay, nothing there. Of that. Fine, I'll go into the trailer, I guess. Wasn't the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that rare card she needed. Fuck, where am I going now? Heck. Do I show her anything? Wait. This is where Salmonella and Divas Gas ate. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bomb steaks too. Okay, cool. Uh, getting this funny feeling. Something about this just feels odd, you know? I can say that I do. A light ramp for moving staff and equipment around. Okay, cool. We already done that like twice. There's a big two painted here. This is the number in Cody's photograph. And just think if he hadn't brought the photograph in. Don't get all teary eyed yet. <sighs> Fuck. 
flowers. Yeah, still the same, same. Same, 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 same. What about Studio One? I can't go to Studio One. Never mind, I gave the keys to old bag. Oh, detention center? Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed them in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WAP! <laughs> Only one day left. Let's make it count. Play it straight. Don't look back. Don't hesitate when you go big time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. But there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we have... We've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? Nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. I sure hope they know the name Salmonella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call though. Though I can't imagine him jumping. That's, that's what it was. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped talk taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago? I don't think he wants to... He can talk to me anymore. Let me go back to... Ms. Vasquez here. Heck, what do I show you? Steak plate? She's not even looking. Okay, hey. You, you look. Why are you showing that to me, Nick? I always get stuck. It's kind of funny, to be honest. I feel like I always get stuck on like the same places too. All right. Well, he is still here, but I don't know what good that does me. It's looking like Will Powers was drugged. I'm going to go back to the precinct to do some more detailed tests. You're being very free with your information today, detective. Well, don't go tell anyone this, pal. But I was kind of impressed at today's trial, too. Most lawyers would have given up after that director's testimony. I think... If it had been anyone but you up there, powers would be dumb for by now. That's, that's nice. Oh, yes! That was, that was all I needed. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess Wap won't be using it anymore, so. What? Why? But Wap's innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you have done. 
But this week's the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they've never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set then? What do you mean, the last steel samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the steel samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kid shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? Studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! Nick, say something! Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. And this is... A fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died and it was a hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him, to, asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this, Miss Oldbag? She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. Try asking her if she'll talk. All right. Let's go to Miss Allbag again. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody is doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Well, someone is, uh, defensive. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols. Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. The assistant we talked to. Oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers! 
dredging up dirt on someone's past like that and the reason they departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? N no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Mr. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Mm, I have proof. Sorry, Miss Olbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder. Sleep, sleeping pill powder on the plate. Mm -hmm. Huh. I bet Powers put it in there himself. Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammer put the pills in. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. My soul bag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag, you're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. The photo, well, it caused quite a stir. I guess we made it all better. Best guess. She has ties to the mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with and here, with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Olbag? Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Olbag. Here, take this. A photograph? Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer's was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. B but how'd you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. No, wrong way. Detective Gumshoe must have left by now. Probably thinking about what to do in tomorrow's trial. I bet Edgeworth is pretty angry with him. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to move, go to Studio Main Gate, move, go to outside Studio 1, move, outside Studio 2, present uh, the photo. He's not even looking. Where? What? Where'd you get that? I, uh, well, uh, Old bag. Uh, old. She means the security lady, Miss Oldbag, Nick. Right. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The uh huh. It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Hold on. Wait. Let me just. Eh. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Alright, let's go. Hm. Huh. You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? It's all coming together. It sure is. Miss Vasquez. You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids shows for a petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure it was an accident, but you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh, I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? 
what do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it? On purpose? That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but, the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hand, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had that photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is a negative. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me, now. What? This is valuable evidence, boys. Um... Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, a race away. No! Holy right there. I heard everything, pal. Divas guess. You're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then in court. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, this is quite different from the two other cases, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you okay, pal? Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? Diva's guess. Don't need that. Okay, final date. Okay, cool. Huh. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The, pr the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today I will call on people pres present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. <laughs> hardy, hardy, hard. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 tra trailer that day. Will a witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. 
On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. She's guilty. I'll, I'll catch her with her pants down. So to speak. <laughs> okay. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards. We went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks in the middle, on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Smoking in court, listen. <laughs> that's, that's the least of, of your worries when it comes to these games. What else is like someone gonna fucking bring into court? I'm trying to think. Well, there's gonna be like a lot of things. Hey, let me just tilt this a little bit. Like that. Yeah, sure. Ugh. I'm not sitting comfortably. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? Huh? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling over. I... I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, a little bit for noon. Damn, I don't have Salmonella's... I can't get over his fucking name, dude. Uh, also, like, not really spoilers, but he's not gonna be the only creep character. In the series, anyways. Meeting begin at 12, sharp at 4, yeah. Your heart's all fatigued. Okay, what does it say, actually? Manella used this van to drive us guests to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. Wait, when did the... Oh, okay, in the morning, I guess. Okay, cool. Or, not in the morning, but yeah, at noon. Hmm. Well, I was fatigued. Wait, when did you go to Studio One? And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Oh, wait, let me save. Usually, I play these games um, in... A, a bit of a different way. First of all, uh, I save before like everything that I'm not certain of Because I'm like I my goal is to get through everything without having like a single mistake <laughs> so it's a lot of saving and uh, I believe on uh, the 3ds uh, you can't just like go to the menu. You have to restart the game. <laughs> so I, I'm sitting there like for like hours on end just trying to get something right. No, yeah, exactly. You're just like, no, I don't think I will. Uh, okay. Nope, that's not it. That's fine. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm. 
Can we... And when exactly? Oh yeah, I already... <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Suddenly I had T-bone sticks in the, on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Will Nick find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard, I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Hmm. Let me just press everything, actually. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. The meeting began at 12. I believe I already pressed this, but I don't know. No, I already did. No one. I did I? Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. Stop hitting your desk. She doesn't like it. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What exactly was that? Forgotten. Okay, this is the same list. That... No. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me and the Studio 2 van. Oh, alright. <laughs> Phoenix? Phoenix? Where did your mind go? Where did your mind go? And what were you doing? Okay, that's... Uh... When did you go to Studio One? Stakes, yeah, but that's not their stakes. I can't use that, I think. Bones, yeah. Damn it, that's not it. Maybe I can try. All right. Uh, it was. You're clever. Ha. Huh. As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you that it was a T-bone steak? 
Exactly my point. Remember if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at the table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? You looked at the guy. Oh, cheater. No, I'm kidding. You ate the bone too. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. I... I see. Now what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Salmonella. Meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? You couldn't, could you? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. Woman's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet? I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too with my fey blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as a murder weapon. Oh, of course. It was fucking broken. Present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Mm -hmm. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then I pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you. I would make a, would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon then. All right, now it's the picture. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. 
This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it? See the fallen man in his photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 hit trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? What if she had another way to carry the body? Other than with her own hands. For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for her- for you to carry that body. Interesting, let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. With the van! Miss Vasquez. You carry the body to Studio One, and you use the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into... The magistrate costume. What are you objecting now, bitch? Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manello that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manello was a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course Sal Manello has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There was no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the steel samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose, you win. It was fun. I win? Um, so what happens next? Don't question mark me. Do you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. Wait, so you mean? D. Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer.
Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits, and the result of that battle proved the possibility that I proved Hammer. Proved that I killed Hammer. Murdered Hammer? Something like that. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, uh, uh. Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. She did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what I do now? Uh, this woman is brain melting. For real. Testify again? I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify? Again? Know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far, only to fail. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Ms. Vasquez. Edgeworth! Let's go! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Um, well, yes, um... Indeed, verily I say. Ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hm. Nick, what did Edgeworth? Who knows? You probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that. Edgeworth. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. I don't have that anymore, okay. Hmm, I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Oh my god. I'm so close, though. Uh, system of there's two, only Powers was absent, immediately called the police, secure lady. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable, it wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. 
Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Your Honor! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have to she would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth! What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Huh. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm? Huh? Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. Um... How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal? He told me. Sal, the director. Hmm... We have to find something to peg this on her here. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Damn, I was so sure it was that. All the powers was absent. Manager would call the police. Or did you say Hammer was injured? Oh, of course! Did you read again, or did you actually figure this one out? Yeah, 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 the photo, the photo, the photo. Yes, we left out, yes. Seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. You're reading the guide, oh you little sneak! Um, but what should I show then? Okay, cool. It was that one. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? Yeah, the photo. I got it. I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! What? <laughs> I like <laughs> the latency. <laughs> You're like the photo. 
The photo. God damn, I just choose the damn photo. <laughs> Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes. Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? The chat is my enemy. <laughs> uh, uh. I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And then was he doing this? Well, it would have had... It would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Oh boy. I'm, um... I must save real quick. Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Must be this. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Mm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident per pres precipitated Mrs. Mr. Hammer's fall, his fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hm. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes! Undoubtedly, it was an, a constant source of shame for the X star. Hm. One moment, Miss Wright. Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if. As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright. Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Okay, I guess I just have to reveal something. Allow me to present to the court evidence proving Miss Vasquez's motive.
This is my proof. And this tells us why Miss Vasquez wanted to kill Mr. Hammer. So it proves that the defense attorney has completed all those marbles. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> We're so close. Think this one through, please. What about she had no motive? She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? Listen, I'm I'm almost as shocked myself, and I've played this case like twice. <laughs> what? Oh, that was him. What? Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. What, what happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez. Please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Please, please don't die. Please. Sorry, that scene was a mess because I wasn't sure who was saying what and how. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. It was the pipe that made her a terrible person, I guess. <laughs> I lose. Again. Oh, it's back! <laughs> She's holding it again! Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I, uh, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found, uh, so... That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. <laughs> yes! That is all. This court is adjourned. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Ms. Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Oh. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Jealousy? It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai. And so he hated you. I, I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, Wap! <laughs> 
Oh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the steel samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into the sweaty costume and... Is something wrong? N no, of course not. Uh, Nick! Edgeworth! <laughs> Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um... That was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better have we had we not met. Thanks to you, I am settled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty, I'm sure. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Okay. <laughs> um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. The rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Uh-huh. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Wouldn't you like to know? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its program programming change. They went back to making kids show shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? No, 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 wait, now I know where there's people shipping those two. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and the assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that Wab gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real will powers. It's so sad. The end! Yes! Oh boy. This case. Oh, that is a hoot. That is another five hours. I'm glad. I was like, I'm thinking like five, six hours. This is pretty spot on. Let's five hours, 13 minutes. I've done the math. <laughs> I think like around this much time is needed for like each episode or something. Hold on, wait. Uh, yes. Oh. Okay, cool. Imagine what was pr pink princess? Yes. That sounds amazing. <clears throat> oh my god, my uh. I mean, I'm fine. I'm just like, I can feel that, like, my uh. Voice wants to give up. <laughs> Though I'm uh, fine at least for a little while longer. So, um, yeah. What did you think about that case? Like, compared to the other ones that we've been through.
<laughs> your hair matches your shirt. Well, technically I'm wearing blue because of Phoenix Wright and how he wears a blue suit, you know. <laughs> I wore blue last time too. Yeah, they are, they are all murderers. That's like the thing. <laughs> They're all murderers and we have to like defend someone who is innocent, obviously. The next one is um, a rough one. <laughs> Let me just say that. Let me keep the only show messages thing on. Hmm. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with this one. I mean, I had fun with the other ones too. The bad guy looked that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. To get for the last one. Oh, I gotta sleep now to wake up at 8 a.m. Uh, yeah, I should also go to bed. Hi. Oh, Jan followed. Good night. I just saw you follow. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, don't know when the next episode is gonna be. I'll just one day, I'll just be like, I want to stream some Ace Attorney again, <laughs> but it won't be on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday. I can say that for certain. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I need to let my voice rest. Um, maybe Thursday. Don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Considering these are really long episodes too. So. An exam on Wednesday. Damn. I wish you uh, good luck on uh, that exam. Yeah. But uh, with that, I guess I'm gonna just go, you know. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for dropping by, even though it was like at the very end. It's, I don't mind <laughs> at all. So, yeah. Good night, everybody.